coffee two ways my way. To make delicious fresh coffee, you're only going to need two things. You need some fresh coffee beans and some screaming hot water. Okay, so we have everything we need. Now, when I make my coffee in the morning, there's a bit of a ritual to it and it might even be considered a bit obnoxious. So I take these coffee beans. You put them in the grinder. Now I'm gonna do a little extra because I'm gonna show you two different ways to do it. And it has nothing to do with instant coffee or a coffee maker, all right? I am my coffee maker today. All right, so we're gonna grind these beans. This is a lovely sound to me. All right, beans ground. My personal favorite is the French press. You can find these anywhere. You can find them in discount stores in any old store. I absolutely love this. But one day, my French press broke and I was hurt. So we found another way to make coffee. I'm gonna show you that way too. All right, so to make coffee with a French press, you take the top off and you scoop your ground coffee inside. All right, just like that. Super simple and it's supposed to be one cup per scoop of ground coffee, so you can grab one of those. They usually come in uh, with the grinder, so work with that. All right, next, you have your, like I said, screaming hot water. You put that in your French press, however much it is that you want. That's all I'm gonna do today. And then you put the top on, and you just let that marinate for three to four minutes. Longer if you like it stronger, less if you like it a little weaker. All right, so I'll set that aside. Next, we're going to do what is called the drip method to making coffee. This is what you do when you don't have a coffee maker on hand, but you have coffee that you really want to drink. All right, you just need a few things. We're going to start with the coffee that's in the grinder. We're going to pour it into a small strainer into our cup. All right, next step is you take that hot water and you're gonna pour that right over top, nice and slow, kind of the way a coffee maker would actually do it. And you do this nice and slow until you get as much as you want into your cup. So typically, if you would like your coffee to be any stronger, most people would like it stronger than just that one strain. You can do that process all over again. This time, I'm going to do it directly into my mug. So I'm gonna take the grounds that I already strained, I'm gonna put them on top of here, and then I'm just gonna give it one more quick strain with this coffee that is already nice and hot, and it's gonna go through one more time. It makes an absolutely delicious cup of coffee, and it's a great alternative if you don't have a coffee maker right on hand. The way I like my coffee in the morning is I like a little bit of honey. I don't do sugar in there. So I put about a spoonful of honey and a splash of half and half, maybe a little more in there. And that's it. That's all you do. I give it a quick stir. And that's it. Morning coffee is done. And absolutely delicious. For the French press method, we're gonna go back over here. You take this French press and you do exactly what the title says. You press it down. The trick is to do it nice and slow. If you do it too fast, those grounds at the bottom that you see going down will go up and you don't want them to do that. This basically keeps it, all those grounds at the bottom and then you pour and you mix as desired. Coffee, two ways, my way. Try it. Thanks for checking in with me today. I will see you next time.